G'day, Theo the Woodturner here for Record Power. Welcome to my workshop. Today I'm going to talk to you about the spindle turning tool set. They're uh, made out of high speed steel and they're by Record Power. First we have the one inch spindle roughing gouge, then the one eighth parting tool, and the three eighth inch spindle gouge. I'll take you through one at a time and show you on a spindle turning project what they can do. So first my face shield, there we go. And now for the roughing gouge, got my speed at about 2500. The parting tool can be used to true up the end. And you can see what a clean cut I'm getting there. If I want to tidy that up even more, I can just take a really fine cut off the edge. There's hardly any tear out there. I'll show you how I can make that same cut with the 3 8 inch spindle gouge. So having the, the bevel, that's the part that goes on the grinder, absolutely square to the wood and coming in at dead centre, you just go in square, rotate the tool slightly, and again, we get a beautiful cut off the tool. and there's absolutely no tear out there at all. So let's just see what else the roughing gouge can do. If I wanted to turn this into a cone, say turn this back into a tree, if I just make some marks here, equidistant, And I'll take the roughing gouge and just go from one mark to the next, taking the same depth of cut, and we form a cone. And one more. Now I can tidy that cut up now by moving the tool rest parallel to the edge. And with my spindle gouge, I can now just rub the bevel, rotate the tool slightly till it starts cutting, and just follow that along. To form that little point. But I will cut that little point off 
a little bit sharp. So now to use the spindle gouge similarly to how you would use a skew. And that would be to go in square, work my way up to the mark, and then just cut back to the next mark. And you can see there the sort of finish you can get off a tool using a spindle gouge. And because it's got the swept back edges, there's no chance of catching the wing. So I'll just speed this up now and finish the rest of it. Spindle gouge is also great for doing beads and coves. So really I'm going to go in there and form a cove. Uh, a fairly deep one and uh, then we'll finish it off with the parting tool. And now to part it off with the 1 8 inch parting tool. It is important to ease the cut by making it slightly wider and now I'm going to undercut and I'm just going to take a fine cut just with the edge right there. And now to hold on to the work. Little flat just there. And then undercut. Well, there it is. And have a look at that. There is absolutely no tear out whatsoever because this tool is high speed steel and it's very sharp and if you use the right technique light cuts you're not pulling the fibers and you're cutting really nice and clean now I'll just show you how I use this emergency stop I've parted off I just reach over like this and just hit the emergency stop there it just makes it easy before you pull away and there we have it a beautiful little beefwood Christmas tree so guess what no sandpaper was harmed in the making of this tree. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Uh, remember, if you're just starting out in wood turning or if you're looking at buying some new spindle turning tools, I can highly recommend the Record Power uh, three-piece high-speed steel spindle turning tool set. 
Um, the other thing I'd like to mention is also these beautiful beach handles. Uh, really nice weight to it. Um, you can long enough to tuck in nice and close to your body so you get that absolute control and you can take your wood turning enjoyment to another level. Well, I hope you continue to enjoy your wood turning and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, in the meantime, stay safe and I'll see you next time.